just going to open up by saying there is no footage of KCON in this video because I am not going to take that risk of a copyright strike. So Mnet, CJ, ENM, you guys are watching this. Do not copyright strike me. I did nothing wrong. There is nothing against the rules in this video. Please, please. Thank you. So I'm a pretty big KCON fan. I have spent hundreds of dollars on KCON for the past few years. I go all out, I get the P1. I don't always really go for like the meet and greet kind of stuff because I can't afford that much, but I do try to make the most of it. It is the one time of year I really look forward to. And stuff happened this year where we didn't really get to have that. And I was pretty devastated. But in KCON's defense, they did this new thing, K-Contact, an online K-Con experience, I guess you could call it. And I am going to talk about my experience with K-Contact and how that was. Because at first I was very skeptical. It sounded ridiculous. I told myself I was not going to spend any money on this unless Oh My Girl was announced for it. And here we are. I had no problem whipping out $20 for a chance to see Oh My Girl. It was, it was gonna happen. Now, whether I think the whole KCON tact experience was worth $20, that's a whole other conversation. I'm not really gonna go into that too much. I might at the end, but right now I'm just gonna talk about my experience i've said experience like i've said experience like 20 times but specifically talking about uh with oh my girl and kind of the process of leading up to that and then the day itself so when k contact membership was available i did it like the day of june 1st i signed up for it because i knew i was going to do it it's an early bird thing I'm like i'm just gonna go do it. it's 20 bucks I can spend $20. If it was anything more than that, probably not. <laughs> so with the membership, you could like apply to be in the live audience for groups with the chance of an exclusive video call and a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And then you could like have a wish possibly granted for them. This was, I think all part of like the early bird people. So that was kind of cool, I guess. It was really confusing. Nobody knew what any of it meant to the point that KCON had to like keep putting out <laughs> statements being like, oh no, no, this is what we mean. Because when I say grant a wish for your K-pop artist, I was thinking, oh my God, I would, I wish they could tour America again. I don't think KCON can grant that wish. Uh, it was more like wish for bubbles. Oh, okay. So the groups I had applied for, I applied for Oh My Girl, Luna, Eyes One, Itzy, and Nature, because those were the groups that I was most looking forward to. And out of those, I got Oh My Girl and Nature, which honestly was kind of really awesome because those were probably my top two of them. Whereas, because like Oh My Girl's my ult, so that was that was the reason why I was doing this. So if I didn't get Oh My Girl, I was gonna be kind of pissed. <laughs> And I can understand why people who paid this $20 and didn't get the groups they want were very upset. I get it. And then Nature is a group that I have just taken under my wing, I like to think. I like to think I've been raising them, watching them grow as they fly away from the nest. I don't know. I've just, I've supported them for a long time. And a lot of my friends kind of made fun of me for it at the beginning. Who's laughing now? They all stan. I love nature, okay? I didn't get any of the extra special stuff. No one-on-one, -on -one, no exclusive video call, whatever. The only extra thing I did was, Oh My Girl had like a fan uh, featuring event thing where you could submit yourself doing the dolphin dance. So I did that. And then you can like appear doing the dance of them on stage. And it was kind of cute. So I vlogged my live audience experience for Oh My Girl. So in this video, you're gonna kind of get like a cut of me talking and then like 
past me doing it, if that makes sense. It's gonna be a mix of both. So I ended up waking up early for Oh My Girl. Now, KCON like recommended you like log in like two hours before the concert started. So the concert started for me at 9 a.m. And that meant I have to be like logged in at 7 a.m. on the Zoom call. And I didn't get to do the rehearsal because that was a mess. I could not get into the room and I just got frustrated. I was like, there's no point. There's no point in this. I'm not doing it. So I just didn't do that. So I had no idea what to expect day of the concert. I actually woke up at 6 a.m. because I was doing this stupid vlog thing and <laughs> I needed to like set up and I got everything set up by like 6.30. I was ready to go. Good morning, everyone. It is, it's six something. I woke up for KCON, so I have the Oh My Girl concert today. And I don't know how this works. I was told I probably should log in like two hours early. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm trying to get my spot all set up. It's an exciting day. I am excited. I got like no sleep last night. I know this is going to be like a lot of hours of pain just for like the 10 minutes of just seeing them, even though I would have just saw them normally. But there's a chance they could see me. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I'm excited. Say hi, guy. He's weirdly awake right now. Normally he sleeps in until like noon. He woke me up at five o'clock. So maybe he knew that I needed to get up early. So he did it in solidarity with me. But then he pooped on the ground. So I think there was something else to that. Uh, I, got, I got a little, little Hyojung picture on the calendar. I didn't know which member to do. So I did Hyojung because I really like that picture. I have a cat here. He's got a, an Oh My Girl hat on. I've got my little dolphin. So normally my dolphin wears the old my girl hat because it's really cute. But look at that. It's like a perfect fit but it doesn't it's hard to tell he's a dolphin as adorable as this is. We're gonna take it off so give me a little baby dolphin. We're gonna put the hat on the cat. Yeah, I have another dolphin hat thing. I'm not gonna wear it. I'll wear it here. It's it's for children, so it is quite painful to wear, but worth it. And and it is one of these numbers. So come winter time, look out. Yeah, I mean it's kind of hard to tell it's a dolphin as well. Like, eh. Of course, we got the Benny pillow. Will they even see it and recognize that it's Benny's face? No, but she's iconic. I have to have her. Got the BAM sweater. You can wear it like a scarf. Maybe we'll put Benny up later. Don't want them to go, what the hell is that? We can't, we can't show her to oh my girl. I get it. It's a little traumatizing. Of course, we got the light stick. I don't know if it's even worth putting lights in this. It's just a matter of like waving around like, hey, look, look, I have it. I have it. I could use it. I could. But right now, you're just, you're just getting a little wiggle. No light, just a little cat hat, Jung, dolphin, bam, Benny, light stick. This pathetic looking hat. It's just. Oh, he's trying really hard. Oh. I got really bored on Monday and I was like, I need a slogan. And so instead of just like writing a simple, like, I love all my girl message, I had to like spend six hours on drawing characters of the girls. And yeah, it was really fun doing this. I'm, I'm quite proud of the results since I haven't drawn in years. So, yeah, hopefully it's obvious who they all are. The hair kind of helps give it away. I, of course, have got the topper, my Oh My Girl headband. It's not an Oh My Girl video if I don't have it on. I think I'm ready. It's 6.30 in the morning. Why did we do this? I think 
I'm pretty proud of my setup. It's kind of cute. Let's say hi to the camera again. Hello. Mr. Morning Person today. Okay. I swear to God, though, if he messes up this live stream in any way, I'll be very upset. The new Suman EP is finally on Spotify, and I'm so ready to just jam out to this for the next, like, six hours. Okay. Oh my God, that's a very easy. That's a very easy. That's a very easy. I wonder, can I just like log in now? Okay, I'm in. That's cool. That was easy. I don't know what I was expecting, I guess. And then I got in at like 6.59, even though it didn't open up until like 7, but I got in early and that was it. That's cool. So I just chilled. I didn't realize I was going to be able to do other things like they have the cameras off you don't need to be in front of the camera until like the time they tell you so we didn't have to be there until 9 45 and it was like 7 a.m i could have just gone back to bed i didn't have to get dressed before this i so many things i could have done differently i could have at the very least sat in a more comfortable spot i was sitting on the floor from 7 a.m to like 1 p.m I have this perfectly nice couch behind me. At any point, any point, I could have moved. But no, I sat in that spot and watched the concert, damn it. Okay, it's 8.57. The live stream is starting. They do all the intro stuff. It is like quite a difference with the Zoom versus like the live stream on YouTube. We're a little ahead, which I guess makes sense. It's so exciting. <sighs> oh, that's attractive. I'm just a little scared for any kind of internet problems. So, praying everything goes okay. Let's cake on. Lagging a little bit. You were talking about my favorite Oh My Girl song. That guy do not, do not. Uh, the Zoom call is freezing. I don't think it's a my end thing because I seem to be fine. Like the music plays, but the screen's not working. So I'm kind of glad, I guess, now that I have it on my TV. Ugh. No, I was actually supposed to have a doctor's appointment today, but I had to cancel it because of this. And, you know, I think I don't think I'll be okay. Oh my girl's the only medicine I need. Okay, I can't hear audio anymore. Wait. Oh, I mute. I muted it because I'm filming. So like I said, our check-in time was at 9.45. That was suspiciously early. I knew from Discord that Bandit and Natty were also checking in at that time, which only confused me more. Because I was pretty sure Oh My Girl was the closer. And huh, closer, closer. I had no idea why they'd be on at 9.45 because there was a meet and greet happening and there was a performance coming on after, which I knew was Bandit and Natty. And then found out it was because Oh My Girl had a special performance. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Oh, things have changed. It's 9.45. Every, everyone's turning their cameras on, so I'm just gonna go for it. This is exciting. This is so awkward. Update, they did change the host so the live stream's working again. You can actually watch the video and it's not just audio. That's nice. Okay, next up is Bandit and Addie's performance and a special stage from Oh My Girl. <gasps> special stage from Oh My Girl. Oh my god, those outfits. 
Why we had to really be there for that, I don't know. It's not like we were shown during the special performance. The special stage was pre-recorded, but they let us turn our cameras on and we all got to rock out together. I'll admit I was a little camera shy for the first run. I just kind of sat there. I had no idea what was going on. I was just watching the performance like, oh wow, that's cool. And I figured if they showed us like then I'll be like, yeah, bleh. but they didn't show us. So I just kind of sat there and I kind of, you know, look to the others of like, oh, what are other people doing? So I kind of like look at all the other people in the Zoom call. That was a trip. Now this is where we meet two important people on this journey. First guy I'm gonna call out, he was going ham during Gorilla. And for that, I just wanna say I love you and I think we should be friends. Second person we're gonna talk about A bit different of a situation. Now, if you've been on my channel before, you're probably familiar with the Vinny pillow. It's this pillow I got for Christmas that is a Vinny's face from Oh My Girl, and it's amazing. I incorporate it into my Oh My Girl videos every time. I had this for the concert, of course. I, I could not see Oh My Girl without this. I had to show them this treasure, and I thought I was kind of cool for this like I was like man they this is gonna be the best item anyone's gonna have I'm very arrogant about this okay I think this is a really cool thing and I I love it more than anything I own no offense shy guy I love this pillow I was ready to show it off to the world I was ready to show it off to all my girl and what happened you might ask why am I bringing up this pillow well I got one up someone brought a giant cardboard cutout of Vinny's face. So, someone has a giant Vinny head and I'm kind of sad because it totally trumps mine. I feel so stupid now with my pillow. It can't compare to the giant head. We're right next to each other. Why? I mean, you got good taste, but the competition was on. He was next to me in the Zoom call. So like, it's like they knew what they were doing, putting us there, like the fire ignited. I don't know if he felt the same way about me. Like if he noticed, like I got the Benny face, cause I noticed he had the Benny face. It's like every time Benny was on screen, we were both just waving it around, being like, oh, look at my Benny face. But like that competition was going the whole time for me. Anyway, back to the, the story. Gorilla finished, great performance, love the outfits, Mwah, amazing, love my girls. We were then asked to stay put. So there was a little message that said like, hey, do not leave, you gotta stay where you're sitting. And of course this just happened to be at the time, I realized I hadn't eaten, I had to pee, but I was stuck there. So we had to sit through the Bandit and Natty performance after that, and then Oh My Girl had their meet and greet. This is where it really all begins. So I had a pink slogan towel that I got from their concert last year. And that was uh, what I was holding up. I, I did it for the mirror check, which they did in Zoom to make sure it was like reading the right way. Cause like, I guess you can see here, this is backwards for you. So like Zoom makes it, you have to fix it in Zoom. So it'd be reading the right way. So they actually read our messages. So I had my pink slogan towel ready. I was waving it. So then the girls walked out, the cameras all lit up in the background. And of course, what do I do? I look for myself. Yeah, oh my girl, cool. Where the hell am I? <laughs> I needed to know what spot I was in. I was actually pretty easy to find. I was behind them, like third up or something like that. Uh, the pink, the pink towel made it a, a bit easy to find. And I mean, if you know my setup, the couch, just look for the couch. It's pretty easy to spot. And then the mean greed, mean greed happened. I found out I was right next to my best friend from the gorilla performance. Uh, I don't know if he thought we were friends, but he was my friend. And seriously, dude, let's be friends. Yes, I was doing my thing. I had my Benny pillow. I was waving it around. But then I got caught off guard. So you know how we had like the videos of us behind them? Well, they do this one angle where we see what they see. So they see this like, I don't know, five by five screen of videos and then like the comments going in next to it. And I was like, oh wow, that's really cool. Someone's looking at all the, the little people and I'm like, oh wow, that's nice. And then lo and behold, there is myself. I'm like, whoa, that's so cool. 
And what am I doing? I'm just sitting there. I'm not waving. I'm not doing like the little finger hearts. Now like, I got nothing. I'm just. I could have been waving my Benny face at Benny, but no opportunity gone. But you know who didn't miss out on that opportunity? <laughs> Big Benny head was there. So point one for him, I guess. Nevertheless, I had a blast. Benny delivered. We got some amazing faces from her, all pillow worthy. The girls were fantastic. What more could I ask? I love them. There was this one moment where the girls had done a game. Sungi had them like act out or something. And I just remember Hyojung did Harley Quinn. Mimi did Joker. I don't remember what Benny actually did, but it was between Mimi and Benny. Or I guess who won. So they both like stepped up and I just saw Benny. She puts her hand on her. She's like covering her face and she's like laughing. And I like to think it was because she saw this and it wasn't just because she's really shy. And she even said that she was embarrassed. Her actions definitely showed that, yeah, it was probably she was embarrassed. But I like to think she saw this, not the bigger head, bigger head wouldn't make have that effect. Anyone can print out a big head, but a pillow, a pillow. You know how hard it is to get one of these? It's actually not that hard. Internet's an amazing place, but it takes weeks to get here. Okay. Stupid big finny head. Yeah. Meet and group was cute. It was fun. I got a lot of photo opportunities and that I was just behind them when they're doing little poses, little heart. And I'm like next to them. It was awesome. I was pumped. Although I do, I'm also just going to point out just a little more, just a little more, little, little, little thing. I don't know how KCON decided like what videos they're putting where. I'm just gonna say Big Benny Head had three spots in the meet and greet. I don't know how he did it. Why him? But okay, meet and greet ends. We get a break. Thank God, because I had to pee and eat some pizza. As in, I needed to pee as well as I also needed to eat pizza. I didn't need to pee pizza. I don't really remember too much that happened here because by this point I was so tired. I was fading. I remember Natty and Bandit had the special stages which were amazing. It was like one of the highlights of all of KCON and I remember it like it ignited a fire back into me like I was ready to go for round two but then there was another like meet and greet and the, the energy dropped again. I was like oh, okay still gotta sit through and by this point our cameras are back on. I was just trying to push through. It had nothing to do with the groups that were performing. It was really just, I was tired and I had been sitting in that spot for hours only to get up to get pizza and pee. Yep, the cameras were on. We weren't allowed to move. Once uh, two was doing their meet and greet and they were doing like the shoes announcement thing, I was getting pumped. That's like the sign that it's ending. Okay, two is saying goodbye. They're showing the shoes, someone won, so it's all my girl time. Mm. Mm. You gonna watch the concert with mommy? Nope, that's his butt. There he is. Oh, you wanna watch a concert? So, which meant if that's ending, all my girl's beginning. So, I just started like revving up. Like, I was getting in the mood for it. And doing this, totally forgetting that. The camera's on and literally everyone in the Zoom call could see me just all of a sudden like waving my arms and like getting psyched up just for two announcing shoes, I guess. A little embarrassing, but whatever. Hyo Jung had her little message before the concert and it was We Can Smile Together, which was so fitting for her because she has the greatest smile in K-pop. And I will not even entertain a discussion on this. It's just a fact, okay? The girls open with non-stop. The stage is beautiful. I really applaud the KCON stage and the effects that they did for some of these performances. Some were way better than others, but when they nailed it, it was so cool. And I really loved what they did for non-stop. Sorry if like lighting and angle changed. I had to stop filming for a second, but we're back. So the girls finished performing non-stop. It was a fantastic, like always. The stage was beautiful. The performance was fantastic. Loved it. Then came the fun part of, okay, our faces are about to appear again. 
where am I going to be? Really easy to find me this time because I was literally right behind them. Like prime spot just poof, right there. Never had I felt so aware of myself and I was so incredibly uncomfortable and yeah <laughs> like i remember when i started making videos i had to get over the hurdle of watching myself which is really really hard i've gotten over it but there was something about seeing me live just right behind them i just kind of went like oh my god that's me <laughs> that is me <laughs> yep so i had my homemade oh my girl sign my dude, my friend, hype guy, he was there with me. He was right by me. He had a Church of Arin sign just proving, just proving that he is just the coolest miracle and coolest dude. And please be my friend. And, and, and of course, I also saw Big Benny Head, but not important. Oh my girl proceeded to have the one-on-one -on -one talk. I actually ended up getting covered up by the phone. So Hyojung's face covered me, but then they like decided to rearrange people and so I just, we all just got booped over to the left one slot, so then I was visible again. So that was cool. After the one-on-one, -on -one, they performed Crystal, which was nice, it was so cute. One thing I love about Oh My Girl is their fan service, just how they interact with fans, especially when they're performing, and they continue to do it here even when there's really not fans there. So like a lot of the times with these performances, like they're waving to the camera and stuff, but you could tell that they're actually like waving to the crowd because they'd be like waving, but it's like nowhere near the camera. So it's like, you know, they just saw someone, they started waving. And I think that's just really sweet. Even though we have no idea who they're waving to, it's a thought that counts. And this performance just reminded me again, how Oh My Girl are just precious angels. And I just, can't understand why you wouldn't like them. And then was the biggest surprise of the night. They performed Cupid, which as you can see, I lost my marbles at this point because I, I don't know anyone who saw this coming. In no universe, no scenario did I think they were going to be performing Cupid. I was like, oh, they're just, they're probably going to perform Secret Garden or Bungie. Bungie was the last one, Secret Gardens, they're most popular, like it just, it seemed obvious to me. But no, they throw in the loop with Cupid, which is my second favorite Oh My Girl title, so I was ecstatic. And then they have the audacity to also do the dance break version, like, I was gone, man. I, if they... KCON says they're able to see us during these performances. They lo they saw me just lose it. I... <laughs> it's actually kind of embarrassing remembering that people could actually see me during that. I mean, you guys are going to see me right now, but there's something... It's not as weird if, like, I, I'm doing... I'm giving you the footage. It's a little more unsettling when it's just, like, someone's just watching me <laughs> while it happens. I don't know. I just remember uh, when the crowd became visible again, I just looked so stupid. I don't know like what I was doing, but so like you're supposed to be like cheering and it's really weird to just be cheering. Like you're like, yeah, but you're at your own house. So you're kind of like silent. You're not like actually shouting. You're just kind of like, it's, it's really weird. So I don't know what I was doing, but I was doing like a shoulder move. Like, ooh, ooh. I had that was embarrassing to see. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I signed up for this. <laughs> we got more fun interactions with the girls. We got banana allergy monkey and we got to like do it with them. So that was really fun. We got are to do Aing. We got a little bit of closer. I feel like this was so geared towards fans. Like I can't imagine if someone doesn't know Oh My Girl watching a lot of that, just being so confused and like not knowing these things. But I don't know 
I, I don't know, but it was, it felt so fan like targeted. I know at one part they even sang part of Love O'Clock because it was the one-on-one caller's favorite song. It was really cool how it felt personal to like miracles. I enjoyed that a lot. I have so many moments of me just kind of chilling next to them during all of this. They're like in a line and then like I'm like right next to them. Like I'm I'm the, the new member and I got the Benny pillow with me. Like we're part of the crew. And then came time for the last performance, which I was so sad because I just wanted a full concert. Oh my girl, please give us a full concert. Please, please. The stage I've been waiting for, Dolphin. I, hold on. I came prepared for that performance. I have my Dolphin, needs a name. If anyone has a good idea for a name, please tell me. I was kind of sad. I didn't get one last view on the camera with me dressed like an idiot with my Dolphin. But maybe that's for the best. But I'm going to show the footage here anyway, so enjoy that. But I was bopping. I was jamming. I had a blast. And for the dolphin stage, they had like a fan um, interaction thing where they had videos of people doing the dolphin dance that you could like submit. And I did that and I was shown right behind the begin in two spots, two spots. Just a little, little box of me. Once again, I got a lot of embarrassment. Once I saw them, like, Jesus Christ, I, I sent that in. <laughs> I voluntarily had that be shown to thousands of people. Why? Why did I do that? They also had, like, the live audience still there, like, on the sides. And so I wasn't shown Big Benny was, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm over it now. I don't have to think about him and his big bitty head anymore. When the performance ended, they said goodbye and it was so cute. They just kept waving at the camera and I didn't want them to go, but then they went and then I took a nap. That was my, that was my day. I mean, obviously I did more after I woke up from my nap, like start editing this monster of a video. Gosh, but that was my KCON experience with Oh My Girl. I won't go too much into detail about nature, but I did kind of dress up for them as well. I have no nature stuff besides their albums, so a little more challenging. I made two signs. I put like a floral kimono cardigan-y thing on, and I had like these flower headbands that I wore, and I have like these two stuffed cats. Like they're stuffed animals that are cats. They're not like it's not an actual cat that's stuffed, please. No, I would never. But I put the floral hats on them as well. And then I actually went and got leaves. Nature's fandom name is Leaf. So I got a leaf. Because they don't have a light stick. So what are you going to do? Grab a leaf. And I totally got noticed for this. Now, once again, I could be very wrong. But I have watched this footage. They saw me. Haru points at my leaf. I got noticed by nature. They might just remember me as the girl with the leaf for the rest of their career. Or they've already forgotten about me by now. Either way, kind of cool. But yeah, that's KCON. K-Contact. I had a fun time. I can imagine some people didn't. It was really weird. I don't know if I'd really want to do this again. Like I said, I'm only doing it for Oh My Girl. This was like a cool experience to say I did. If they do this again, there's a lot of things they got to fix. KCON, feel free to hire me if you need a logistics person. I got you, okay? I got you. I hope you guys had a fun KCON if you participated. Okay, this is actually really bothering my eyes. I hope you guys had fun time at KCON if you did KCON. If you didn't do KCON and you're watching my video and you're like, man, that sounded fun. I don't know what to tell you. If you're watching my video and you're like, well, that sounded kind of awful. I'm glad I didn't do that. Then I don't know, you're welcome. Oh, I don't, I think I, I don't think I mentioned this. I actually got like recognized in Oh My Girl Chord, which was really cool and weird. They brought up uh, Benny and they were actually talking about Big Benny Head, but it's fine, we're not gonna talk about that. And one of the people was like, oh, it's Oh My Boba. I was like, well, me. That's not who they were talking about. They were talking about the bigger Benny head, but thank you. 
And then I had someone else joke about the Benny Please pillow. So I'm a celebrity. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.